Would you say that the text processing was one of your favorite features? I would say, it, you know, yeah. uh, in the beginning I would have said yes, but now I'd have to say it's, a, it's really a tie between that and the ease of database access. Okay, sure. So tell me more about why you really like the text processing. Let's bring that home. Well, for, you know, 30 years I did the, for i equals 1 to the end of, of, of the length of a variable. And is it a space? No. Is it a space? No. Is it a space? Yes. Okay, I just found word one. Okay. <laughs> and then con and continue on. I, uh, if I wrote, how many of those loops that I have written in my life, it was just like, it's so nice. And, and every so often we still have some VB6 uh, legacy applications and I go back to that and it's suddenly like I need to find the third word yeah. and it's like oh my god yeah. <laughs> here we were, we're we're back into counting character land uh, yeah. so the text processing is very important because text processing you don't have to make a mobile app you don't have to make a website you don't have to have a live code server if you just need to process textual data yeah. and get some work done now, is it appropriate for uh, carving through Google's entire database? Well, probably not. But is it, a, but is it appropriate for 99% of the text processing that people need? The, absolutely, yes. Yeah, sure. So yes, there are limitations in, a, in, in an interpretive language, but the engine seems to, especially now with 8, going on to eight and not, version 8 and version 9, seems to have really trimmed listening to the uh, users and you know, going in and finding out the uh, what, where the where the bottlenecks are. Yeah. I would say for your for like I said, 99% of people that want to do text processing, this is the way to go. This right. is what you need to do if you want to get work done and save time. Awesome.